the challenges that AI is building itself to address um, are some of the challenges that they feel every day too. You know, it's everything from demand forecasting. I think that's one of the big things. How do you get it? How do you do that better? How do you let the technology do it for you? Pricing is huge. Uh, and I think one of the biggest ones, because there's no really great idea of a, about a, uh, an infinite warehouse anymore. I mean, used to be a day where everybody just loaded everything onto the website and okay, let's see if people buy it. Right. But the service levels of that is not consistent. And I think the customers that I've dealt with over the years, they want, they don't care if it's next day. They just want it reliable and predictable and consistent. And I think with AI managing the supply chain, managing the product management, the selection, uh, using those technologies to get smarter allows for better service. And I think that's not just going to be good for MRO, but I, I think it's going to be really good for these other industries too that probably need it even more so. But I mean, the idea of, of uh, partnering with either tech companies that are, you know, the vendors and or other distributors, maybe in other industries or non-competitive situations or building new alliances are all things you're going to get out of these events, you know, and too. I mean, the people who go to these, they're going because they want their thought leaders. And I think that goes a long ways. And that was why I, you know, for me personally, I, I paid my own personal money to go because I felt like that would give um, some new learning for me and, you know, give you a thought leader position, which I think is great.